hello, hello to all my amazing Aquarius. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Aquarius, these cards are trying to jump out of the deck. What is going on? Yes, Aquarius, it is Saturday. This is Sunday's video. So yes, let's get right into it. We are 3.8 days away from the next new moon. So we're going to talk about the number 38. But this is a part of a love series. I'm going to put it in a different section. But this is part of a love series. So that way you can always go back to click on it. But this is for my gods and goddesses. That would be you, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Aquarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my water bearers who are open-minded humanitarians who are very creative, free-spirited, intellectual, progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, powerful gods and goddesses. Your motto is I know because you do know Aquarius. You do know everything. You're the smartest sign in the zodiac. Yes, Aquarius, let's get it. Like I said, this is going to be a part of the love series. We're going to really, really break it down. Today, we're going to be talking about the Aquarius X. <laughs> ah, the Aquarius X. Let's do it. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you want a personal reading, please go to my website at queenamunra.com. Queenamunra.com and then click on schedule your session. The Aquarius X. Yes. The Aquarius X, I want you to know, and Aquarius, go ahead and just add your comments to it. This is the love series that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be breaking this down. I'm going to break it down. I have a lot of material for you all to start to get into the mind of an Aquarius to try to understand. So the Aquarius X, I want you all to understand. Listen, Aquarians are loyal to the soil. But if you are an X, don't be surprised if Aquarius X don't show any a great interest in you. Chances are that they have moved on to someone else, causing you to either sigh with relief or suffer extreme pain, depending on your feelings, right? So um, let's look at this right here. Ten of Wands. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. Let me make some room here. Eight of Cups. Two of Swords. Shooby dooby doo. Listen, when you have an Aquarius, you have an Aquarius. When you don't, you don't. Here we have Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. And King of Swords. Aquarius, I see you all getting your power back. Like really, really, really taking your power back. Because you are really getting to the heart of who you are. And standing very firm in your power as an Aquarius. No longer are you trying to fit into someone else's mold. Right? We have six planets that are currently retrograde. We have Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Neptune, uh, Mercury, and Pluto. We also have the minor planet Chiron. That's the planet of healing and compassion, right? This is a person who was a healed, uh, a wounded healer, right? We talked about that. Go back and watch my videos on Chiron so you understand how that works. But again, this is where you're really getting to the heart of the matter of, you know, you may have been an Aquarius that didn't stand in, didn't fit in in any environment, whether it was in a workplace, whether it was your family, whatever it was. But you're really starting to come to terms with how powerful you are as a humanitarian. So you're not interested in fitting in anymore. Kudos to you, Aquarius, right? So when we talk about the Aquarius X, and this is, again, part of the love series that I'll be doing, when we talk about the um, Aquarius X, I'm telling you, if you are an ex of an Aquarius, do not be surprised if they really don't show great interest in you. Really, they have moved on. They are really light years ahead of everybody. And this is not to put Aquarius on some major uh, pedestal because I will be speaking to the strengths of every single sign just in case you want to be a cross watcher and someone else's. Maybe your ex was an Aquarius. Maybe your ex was another sign or whatever. But um, when you, um, like I said, they they move on when they move on when they're done they are they are they are done right so look at this this is part of you taking your power back aquarius one of the things i'm seeing here is you know wearing blindfolds wearing blindfolds is a person represents a person who has been hurt so many times they don't want to see the bad out there but aquarians you know that everybody has good everybody has bad in them right and the universe keeps all of that balanced out but when you make a a a 
conscious effort to put on blindfolds like, okay, I've been hurt so much by family. I've been hurt so much by friends. I've been giving, giving, giving. Remember, you all are givers by default, right? That I just don't want to be taken advantage of anymore. Now, Aquarius, because Chiron is retrograde and it's really giving you an opportunity to deal with some of those deep-seated hurt and issues where you felt like you were ostracized or you, you never fit in. Now you understand you were sanctified and set apart for a reason. Boom, right? Aquarius, so um, very, very smart. You're now coming into your own of really accepting how intelligent you are, how, <clears throat> excuse me, you as an Aquarius don't really need to... Um, all you need is catch wind of information and boom, a lot of you all have it. It at least spikes, it sparks an interest. So let's say you're interested in technology. Let's say you're learning, you want to learn how to build web pages or you want to learn how to learn a programming language, right? Or whatever. You catch wind of something, it catches your, it sparks an interest in you. Aquarius will learn it from top to bottom. That's just how smart they are. Or if, they, if they're interested in learning, whatever it is they want to learn. They want to learn how to fix a garbage disposal. <laughs> they'll go log on to YouTube and they'll learn it from top to bottom. Like That's just how their minds are wired. So when you're in a relationship with an Aquarius, you have their full attention. We're talking about high vibrating Aquarius. When you have their full attention, they are very loyal, fixed signs. They're divine masculine. So their energy is directed out when I'm talking to both men and women. Energy is directed outward. So you have their full attention. But when they are done, when they have healed in their, with the, when they're done, for them, it's best to cut off the air supply so that they can heal in private and so they can move on, right? So I see a lot of you all like taking the blindfolds off about yourselves and saying, hey, I know what I need to heal in certain situations. I need to start seeing this both sides of everybody and then making a determination as to what category I put them in. Are they in the friend category? Are they in the acquaintance category? Or are they in no category whatsoever? That's what I see a lot of you all because you've been hurt. You've been stabbed in the back so many times. You have been betrayed. People have talked about you run smear campaigns, the whole nine yards. Um, and because you all are such humanitarians, y'all have not gone full on like savagery with people like cutthroat. It's better for you all to just walk away and cut that air supply because people can't live at all without air and they can only live for a short period of water uh, time without water, Aquarius. So I see that you all have been hurt by a lot of people, friends, family, people that you put in the category of a friend, but those people should have been demoted a long time ago or just completely kicked to the curb, right? But you're starting to see, look, this is how you're taking your power back. This is a person who, let me show you something. This person right here, see this owl right here that represents, represents wisdom and knowledge. And then the sword is at rest position. Now you're wiser. Things are a lot clearer for you, Aquarius, right? Like I say, we are 3.8 days away from the next new moon. This is what you're stepping into. New moon energy is about quiet creativity. This is where you're not telling everybody what your new plans are, what intentions you're setting the whole nine yards. This is where you are being very selective. This is when you know who is a friend and who is an acquaintance and who doesn't deserve access to you, Aquarius. You see what I'm saying? So yes, this is how you're taking your power back moving forward. An X is an X, and they're staying in the past, right? That's done. You Now you're holding space for new energies to come your way, whether it's new people, new money, new new whatever, opportunities or whatever, right? So you're very clear about that. A lot of you all have come through a lot of challenging relationships, Aquarius, where you were still holding things down. You don't look like what you've been through, right? Literally walking a tightrope from one situation to the next, from one chapter to the next, you walk in a tightrope. But that's not going to happen anymore. This, again, Aquarius, is how you are taking your power back. A lot of you all have been burned by a lot of people. You walk through the fire, right? People who were committed to hurting you, right? Maybe the person had fire in their chart. But some of the characteristics of some of the things, of some of the people who have burned you, they have been selfish. They have been attention seeking. They have been, they had outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior. They were arrogant, inflexible, lazy, dogmatic and prideful, domineering and jealous, competitive. They were impatient with you. They were careless, boastful, attention seeking. And in some cases, they were just straight up brutal. It wasn't even brutal honesty. It was just brutal with you. You've been through the fire. So now you're wiser, Aquarius. 
Aquarius, right? So this is not only about self-love, but like I said, during this love season, this love series, I'll be talking about different facets of love under that major umbrella of love. You know, also how you interact so that people can start gaining a better understanding of how you move on and like and so how you move on and it's not even cold and callous it is your way of healing aquarius and so even if you were aquarius even if you were because we, we're not gonna take up too much time with this but even if you were let's say discussing past issues with um you know in a in an aquarius x you can you can just people can just keep that to themselves because that's just not even how the mind of an Aquarius... When I tell people that the, the, the mind of Aquarius is light years ahead of everybody else, people don't understand it until you're actually in the presence, in the energy of an Aquarius. When The way that they move on is the way a lot of people need to move on. I'll just put it that way. So I see that you all have gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge. You've acquired a lot of wisdom and knowledge along your journey. These lighting stations right here you've been illuminated along the way, right? These have been awakenings for you along the way. Like I said, people who have, um, you're, you're taking your power back, Aquarius, which is great. Let's talk about the number 38 for just a second. Like real quick, like I said, we got 3.8 days away from the next, um, the next new moon, right? So this is where you're gonna be setting your new intentions for the new chapter of your life, right? Yes, like I said, we have six planets that are retrograde, including... Um, we have, like I said, we have Mercury, we have Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn, Uranus. We also have Chiron, which is retrograde, which is a minor planet and true node is also retrograde. So imagine all of this stuff going on and people trying to, you know, uh, people trying to gain their footing, trying to just keep their minds straight, you know, moving forward. So a lot of you all, like I said, are committed to taking your power back. I love it, Aquarius. A lot of that is just getting like really standing in your power unapologetically, realizing that you were set apart for a reason. The number 38 means that you're highly intuitive and in tune to the divine. It also means that you trust in the bridge between your consciousness and unconsciousness connecting to the unseen. This number is natural clairvoyance. So when you think about 38, three plus eight is what? 11, a gateway number, right? So a lot of you all are having a lot of awakenings right now and things are very clear. Like I said before, Aquarius, you being the smartest sign in the Zodiac, um, this awakening for you is just amazing. Like all of a sudden you won't even want to be a part of other people's group. You know, like before you may have wanted to fit in, like how come I never fit in? How come this... Not anymore. Not anymore. Here we have the Six of Wands. We also have the Six of Pentacles. So I see a lot of you all, like I said, you're no longer holding space for things that you would have held space for before in the past, Aquarius. And so the universe is replacing it with money. I see you receiving more money. I see you also at the end of a cycle. No big shocker there. Long and arduous one, right? I see you being victorious. I'm looking at the Three of Pentacles. Perfect synergy when it comes to your money, Aquarius. Kudos to you. Also, you being a money magnet, right? This is energy. This is a form of energy, right? Here we have Queen of Pentacles, right? So yes, and we also have Death Rebirth. So there's a lot. We have Death Rebirth is a, it's attached to Scorpio, and one of Scorpio's ruling planets is, uh, is uh, Pluto. And Pluto, like I said, is retrograde. It's the Death Rebirth planet, right? And so there's still some decluttering that you all are doing. So that's decluttering even within yourself even thinking that you got to be a part of something you got to fit in you got to you got to reconnect with certain people no you do not no you do not the majority of cards that I'm looking at for you Aquarius is about you getting your power back then also um, creating that fire in you by, by moving on from some things a lot of you all are coming to the end of jobs a lot of you all are coming to the ends of um, coming to the end of all kinds of relationships, everything under the relationship umbrella. It could be an end of family relationships as you once knew them, end of jobs as you once knew them, stand, um, focusing on starting your own business. Like I said, when you put your intentions out there in the universe, Aquarius, it is amazing at what comes back. Amazing at what comes back. Let me pull an oracle card so we can close this out. But like I said, um, I'm trying to keep this video rather short because the love series is going to last for a while. I want to talk about Aquarians in the workplace, like them as business partners, as colleagues, 
talking about a number of things. So I will break all of this up. I will separate all of this so that you all will be able to see the different, you know, like the different playlists, you know, on my channel, or at least I'll have my team to do it. So I'll just put the videos up today and then we'll, I'll get my team to start, um, separating things, right? Here we have the highest co correlation for reaching 90 or 100 years of age is good shape, is emotional resilience, the ability to bounce back from life's setbacks. Yep. I am flexible in my body, my mind, I am body health, positive energy. Love it, love it, love it. These are Oracle cards. So yes, love it, Aquarius. Like I said, there's some situations that you have deaded those situations. You are so ready and so pumped and so amped to get to the next level. I'm so, so, so happy for you, Aquarius. And like I said before, you know, I like to add these little tidbits to my readings, but we are doing a full on love series and we're going to break it all the way down so that it is forever, <laughs> forever broken. But like I said, I'm going to do a recap real quick. For the Aquarius X, do not be surprised. If you're an ex of an Aquarius, do not be surprised. If they don't show great, if they don't show great interest in you, chances are that they have moved on to somebody else. And so um, um, you just want to move on. Because when you had them, you had them. When you didn't, it's done. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I love it, love it, love it for you. I see you being victorious because you have left behind some things that you were trying to hang in there with. Like there were parts of yourself that like wanted to belong to certain, you know, certain groups, even within your family, you wanted to belong like, but time is showing you time and experience and wisdom is showing you that you don't need to fit in anywhere. You just continue standing out. You're humanitarian. You're light years ahead of everybody else. You're extremely smart. And so your soul tribe will find you. They will connect to you, Aquarius. You just don't have to be the, I know this, I know that. Cause that's one. Okay. This is one of the things I want to um, share with Aquarius. When you enter a new group, Aquarius, um, just be in receiving mode. Because you nine times out of ten, you already know everything that they're talking about, but you don't want to be off putting by saying, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know that. Just sit back and be in receiving mode. That's part of that's part of the wisdom and knowledge that um that you've acquired on your journey. But kudos to you, Aquarius, because your cards look absolutely great moving into this next chapter of your lives. I'm so excited for you all, and I hopefully you all are excited too. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Have a great one. Bye.